more negative. But that same capacity to, to stand, to be firm, to be resistant to the pressure from outside sources is a great strength. And so it makes you realize as you study the rays that all of us are in the process of becoming, we're developing, and we're constantly having to correct for an imbalance of energies within ourself. It helps us to see how we have to grow, and it helps us to perhaps to be a little more patient with others. And this ray is, uh, as it says, it's the ray of power and will. So it is a very strong uh, energy mm. and it's the strongest, isn't the strongest it? of the energies that mm -hmm. emanate from God, and that's why it has to be very carefully handled and it has to be balanced. And so that's why it's said to um, the first ray should be balanced out by a quality of love. And where that love is absent, where it's not present, or if you have just pure first ray force by itself then it can be very destructive. One comment I like from the writings of Alice Bailey is that the individual who's strongly influenced by the first ray must use that will on himself or herself, not on others. How would, um, <clears throat> how would the first ray person, uh, how would he respond to uh, something I read by Krishnamurti uh, where he suggests that as far as following and finding a spiritual path that we... Uh, become a light unto ourself, and I think maybe it was also said by Buddha. How would the first person uh, respond to something like that? I think that would fit his spiritual um, uh, development very appropriately to be a lamp unto oneself. Mm -hmm. The first straight person is capable of standing alone and forging his way fearlessly in his spiritual development. The fearlessness of the first ray is something everyone needs to cultivate. The, the the courage to develop spiritually and to face oneself and to hone and refine one's mind and emotions. Uh, that's the the uh, ability of the first ray person to make his way on his own without dependency on others. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But that can be, uh, as also we mentioned, it can be a weakness too mm -hmm. because um, the where there is a strong first ray, there may be a tendency just to go barging ahead, mm -hmm. f forcing his ideas mm -hmm. <clears throat> on the group or the people he is working with. Let's say it's a businessman that he wants to establish a, a new business, and he has this vision, and he charges ahead. He actually provides the uh, the power to and the persistence of the energy to bring about this uh, new venture, but it takes cooperation with a lot of other people to uh, build a, a new business like that. But if he finds it difficult to cooperate because of a strong first-rate tendency, then, um, you know, he could end up, the company could self-destruct. Maybe a good way to sum up this mm -hmm. question is uh, something mm -hmm. that's uh, said in the writings of Alice Bailey, that wherever we identify our greatest strengths, that's where our weaknesses can also appear. Mm -hmm. I have to think about that one a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but today we're talking about uh, nuances of energy that uh, affect people and that have a profound effect uh, um, upon people. And I think this is something that people can relate to because we're living in an age where science is constantly demonstrating that there is so much to reality in the universe that has to do with things that we're not able to see, touch, feel, and yet they have a profound effect upon us. So... As Sarah mentioned before, she mentioned that we can explore our topics further. We're just skimming the surface in these shows. We'd like you to get into depth if you're interested in uh, scratching the surface of uh, the rays, the energies that affect mankind, humanity, the individual. And to do so, what you can do is read the works of Alice Bailey. And there are 24 volumes of literature, of books, uh, that have been written by Alice Bailey in the dialogue, the shows that we um, do here, uh, emanate from the writings of Alice Bailey. And so if you'd like to uh, look further into her works in order to do an in-depth uh, study or exploration of the seven rays, the energies that affect the individuals and have a, a profound effect on personality, you certainly might, may do so. What would you say um, 
it would be the best book that they can uh, read if they want to pursue the seven rays. Esoteric psychology would be the the introduction. Okay, esoteric mm -hmm. psychology uh, would be the book you would order if you'd like to uh, peruse the seven rays and look at them further. And also, if you'd like to order all 24 volumes of book, if you, books, if you do so, you'll get a 10% discount only if you order them from Lucis Trust. Of course, you can buy them from Barnes & Noble, Amazon.com, uh, uh, Borders, and other places as well. But if you'd like the 10% uh, discount, order them from Lucis Trust at the following toll-free number, one 866 695 once again, that's one eight six 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 nine five eight two four seven, or the easy way of remembering the number is one eight six six N Y Lucis L U C I S. Think of one eight six six New York Lucis, and our website www.lucistrust.org. Once again, www.lucistrust.org. If you key into our website, you can look at our previous uh, shows. We have an archive. We've created a library of shows that are archived, and you can uh, look at those previous shows. They have some interesting topics, such as uh, who are we or what is self and uh, how do we make changes within ourselves. That's a very tough thing to do, but we look into that on one, in one of our shows. Also, if you'd like to order uh, cassette tapes of the radio shows or cassette tapes of some of our books and or a cassette tape of this particular show, you can call us once again at one eight six 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 nine five eight two four seven or one eight six six NY Lucis. People often ask us uh, who we are, what we're all about. I guess the best answer is we're not a religion. Um, you can certainly find out about how to get involved with Lucis Trust. Uh, uh, we certainly welcome you to bring your various thoughts and religions with you if you come to meet with us and you can explore life philosophy with us and that's basically what we do and we welcome you you mentioned that the rays is a threefold is threefold in, ex in its expression how does this apply to the first ray the first rays threefold expression is as um, purification destruction and organization those are the the three components of this tremendous and again I should remind people divine energy purification is um, the clearing away of all impediments um, destruction might be a surprise to people to think that that's an expression of divine intention but I think we find an example in nature through the uh, process of fire clearing away the uh, the dross, the the dead forms in the natural world then makes possible the regeneration of life. Fire is a very necessary part of the natural world. That's a good example of uh, the spiritual um, basis of destruction. Organization, we see that throughout nature, the, the divine and precise order in the uh, construction of life the manifestation of life, perhaps I should say. Yeah, I think the um, another name given to this ray is called the destroyer ray. Mm. And um, mm -hmm. as you said, destruction is very necessary. Makes me think of Star Wars. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, destruction is very necessary because we have to destroy the old mm. to make way for the new. And that's that's constantly happening here in the world. Uh, we're, uh, if you live in a big city, you know that it's undergoing change all the time. We're destroying old buildings and putting up new ones. And uh, the old forms of thought, which are no longer adequate, uh, have to be replaced. And in that replacement of something, in, in the form of something better, there is a destruction that sets in. It's death. Isn't a, a good synonym death? Sure, and uh, but even death is, uh, which seems like destruction, is um, it's beneficent. Is, is a beneficent uh, mm -hmm. un undertaking, a beneficent process, mm -hmm. and that's what really all that is going on. Because, um, as I said, there is it is necessary that this destructive quality also be used uh, uh, with a great love because uh, that's essentially what, what God does. 
We can look too in the world uh, and see this process of destruction. You could say that the World War, in its phases, the First World War and the Second World War, it's really one great war of the past century, was uh, 